Hello everyone, it's Shauna. Welcome into my craft space. Today we're gonna chat about some beads. I kind of led up to this in some of my social media, if you saw my stories or my reels, um, just to see what I was doing. I'm on a design team for a special group and one of our themes for the month was beads. And so, when you ask a blind lady to work with beads, this is what she does. <laughs> So sometimes beads are a little bit hard because they've got these little tiny holes and trying to string them is just really difficult for me. Uh, it takes me a long time and I definitely don't want to do it on video for you guys because, well, it takes me a long time. Um, anyways, so what I've done here is I have used some six millimeter uh, faceted plastic beads. So they're just round six millimeter beads. I'm not even sure where these came from because they were gifted to me. Um, I do want to cover a few safety measures first uh, before I tell you everything that I did here. Um, I remembered when I was a little girl, we baked beads um, and I remember doing it in our kitchen. But like Tim Holtz says, when you know better, you do better. So in order to do this craft, I did not want to have this melting plastic toxic fumes in my kitchen, in my home. So what I did was I went to the thrift store and I got a cheap uh, used toaster oven and a couple baking sheets. And then at Michael's, I found these metal cookie cutters that were in perfect shapes for what I wanted to make. And um, they were on clearance for $3. So all in all right now, I'm up to about $12 uh, to do this project because of the things that I purchased used. But I didn't wanna use my bakeware that we cook food on and I didn't wanna use my oven in the kitchen because of the fumes. So um, just make sure you take care when doing these things because the fumes can be um, toxic and you don't wanna do that. Um, I don't ever wanna encourage you guys to do something unsafe or unhealthy. So um, just, you know, take precaution. Uh, they do have they do have these smells. So my husband set up a little makeshift table for me outside and uh, ran an extension cord so I could plug in this toaster oven. And I will put a clip here to show you guys what that looks like. Okay, fun, right? Um, so, especially while we've had these summer days, it's been hot outside. Nobody wants to bake in their in their home, but it's nice to be able to do things outside. So I took my cookie cutters, as you saw, um, and I put these beads in. I just put a single layer inside the cookie cutters. Uh, blind girl, rookie mistake, make sure your cookie cutters are going the right direction. Um, I had one upside down, so you want the thicker rim at the top. I had one upside down and it was really, really hard to get my image out or my little plastic piece out. Um, anyways, I took these, I put them inside the cookie cutters and um, I separated them by color and then on a couple of them I mixed and then also on a couple of them I put in some glitter because I'm just that kind of girl, right? Um, and here is what came out. So I have all of these fun little pieces. Um, they do kind of have a little bit of a sharp edge. So I was thinking I'm going to use a nail file and just file them down. Um, but these were the shapes of my cookie cutters. Um, they're kind of, they kind of remind me of cute little tags. Um, I also, my first attempt, I used a toothpick because that was how I remember doing it as a little girl. We made, uh, when I was little, we made little um, stained glass looking window things to hang in the windows. Um, so I tried to put a toothpick in there. It did not work um, to, just so I would have a hole so I could put a jump ring. So my husband came up with the brilliant idea of just using eyelets. And um, that was a place saver for the hole. It is melted in there. I don't know if I can take it out. Um, so I'm okay with it being in there. I'm just gonna leave it in there. This is one with glitter. This was a, a pink and purple one. The pink and purple didn't really show up, but I've got these kind of neat dots in there if you can see them. Um, and then these are some of the other ones. This is one that was white and I mixed the blues. And then um, I love these tag shapes. So what will I use these for? Well, um, there's no resin here and it almost kind of looks like a little resin charms. So you could use these in your charms, like uh, hanging off the side of your journal. Um, this one I did not put an eyelid in, so you can see you can make it just without it. Um, I thought it would be a really fun way to, excuse my shirt there, you could put your 
image in behind. This is a digital uh, image from the Rachel Bella Crafts and Line Dot Arrow Summer Bloom collection. But look how it magnifies that. And I thought that was really cool. Let's see it under yellow since this is a sunflower. Ooh, it's kind of hard to make it out really when it's yellow on yellow. It was really good on the yellow on blue. What about orange? Let's try. Yeah, orange is kind of pretty, that's fun. So you don't have to put an image behind it, but you definitely can. You could glue these to your pages. They're not terribly thick. I mean, they are a little bit thick. This is paper compared to it. So, I mean, it does add some thickness in both, but you could add it to the charms. Um, without the eyelet, it's still a little bit thick, but um, I, I definitely like this under this blue. You can see the image really well. You do get some little bubbles in there, and that's just from where the plastic melts. Um, but I thought these were really fun and something different to do. Uh, you could definitely just put some strings on them and hang them in your window if you wanted something pretty to catch the light. Um, but I thought they were really fun for journals, something different I haven't seen before um, and something fun I remembered from my childhood. So I've got all these different ones. Look how cute. And I love this orange one. This would be fun for fall. You could put like a leaf or something behind there. Now I didn't try melting anything in them because they do go in the toaster oven. Um, I had it set at the maximum temperature, which I think was like 400. Um, so I didn't put anything like flowers or anything in it because I didn't want to like make more of a fire hazard risk. <laughs> But I mean, you could you could glue a leaf to the back, you could glue stickers to the back, you could put it right over your page if you have some kind of an image on your page, uh, like I've shown here. If this was glued down in your journal, you could just put, you know glue this right over it. Um, and that would be fun to have as like a little embellishment or ephemera, ephemera piece on the corner of your page. Um, or on your spine or your cover or wherever you, you see fit. Like I said, these ones with the holes in them, you could string them to, you could make cute little closures. This would be a fun closure on the cover of your book. Uh, you could add them to your, your dangles or anything like that. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. And if you try it out, let me know in the comments down below. But remember to always be safe first. So make sure you take precautions before uh, trying this out. It, it, it does make a smell. Um, and I don't know if you can do this with all beads. I used six millimeter plastic beads. So um, if you try it out, definitely be careful and um, stay close by to your stuff while you're baking it and um, always be safe while you're, while you're crafting. Anyways, stay crafty you guys and have fun and let me know if you make some of these. I would love to see them. Tag me on Instagram with your projects or comment down below and let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.